howdy folks and welcome to the Humpty Do Save episode 4. It's been pretty smooth sailing. Still undefeated in the Premiership, although they did have a draw with Mindel Aces, which is ironic because Mindel Aces are currently in the relegation zone of the competition. So just checking out Mr. Harry Dixon Balls. I would say arguably our best player and he's moved over to Melbourne City and he's actually doing quite well, although he's only had the three games, but I'm sure that he's going to be a great success there. Mars Bar Sugar, remembering they are coming third in our division. And it's Bookie now crossing it in. There's Chuma Fat there, and he has been fouled there. So it's going to be the boy that can't be named to step up to this spot to try and get us 1 0 in front. And it's been saved. So Boy will be very disappointed with that, but it is saved. So 10 minutes down, it's still 0 0. There's Shed now holding the ball up, pushing it back to Giorgio there. Giorgio now pushing it forward. There's Shen crossing it in there, and there is Wilkins with his 11th goal of the season. 1-0, 26 minutes gone. And Sanders now puts it forward to Carey. So Mars Bar Sugar on the attack now, this guy, and there's Opadiziano scoring the goal. So 1-1, one, one, equaliser. Second half now where in the 71st minute, there's Shen there holding it up for Pleavors. And Upac pushes it forward there, finds Wilkins, crosses it in, and Nick Doff gets his fifth goal of the season. It's 2-1. So the deadlock has been broken. Goldschmeckle at the back, pushing it forward there. Wilkins again on the ball, and Doff gets goal number two for the day. Six for the season. 3-1, 76th minute. And Giorgio with the corner now, crossing it in. And he finds Lucky Bulger, who gets his fourth goal of the season, and it's gone out to 4-1. So that last 15 minutes, the, the tide has definitely changed in this game. There's Farts now pushing it forward there. And Doff, looking for number three, gets it. He gets his hat-trick. So seventh goal of the season, and it's 5-1. And that's the way it stayed. So we progress to the next round of the Coca-Cola Central West Cup. And the draw now in the round of 16 and we have got Adelaide River those poor bastards they can't take a trick as we look to Port Darwin now and it's Farts with the throw in now to Wilkins Wilkins finds Scammer Scammer back out to Farts there crosses it in there and the ball has been put in the back of the net by Pierced off 29th goal of the season for him and it's 1-0 in the third minute and Port Darwin pushing it forward there and it's Forbes. He's done. Oh, what a great effort that is. Tyler Forbes ships the keeper and beats him senseless. So 1-1, one, one, the equaliser. And now it's Shen crossing it in. And there's the boy that can't be named. 2-1, breaking the deadlock in the 30th minutes. Although, it's gone down as an own goal. Wilkins with the free kick. Puts the ball in the top corner there. 12th goal of the season for him. And the score goes out to 3-1 early in the second half. And that is the way the game stayed. 3-1. So Port Darwin still staying in the five there, but that loss is just pushing them further and further down. Remembering that they were up right up there nearly in second spot at one point there. So Adelaide River had a nil-nil draw against Elizabeth. So they're basically both fighting for relegation at the moment. Adelaide River doing slightly better. As we head to the match of the day, this is the next round of the Tim Cale Cup, the FFA Cup, playing Bulls FC Academy. This is going to be a tough game. If we have a look at some of their players there, Doug Cuck Ingram is a very good player, as well as Oliver Suckjob. Just waiting for the boys as they warming up on the field there, and we kick off. There's Chuma Fat at the back there, and Upac holding the ball up, giving it to Giorgio, who passes it back to Upac there. Upac finds Wilkins quite well. Wilkins takes the keeper on, but no problem for the keeper there. Barry doing very well. So five minutes gone, only one shot at the moment, which is ours. So yeah, it's been a very tight beginning to this game. Not much happening in the highlights column, but uh, three shots to one and two on target. So that's impressive. Although the first shot that we did see wasn't too threatening on the goalkeeper. Giorgio pushing it forward there, but it's defended quite well there, and then Barry, the keeper, pushing it forward there, 
and he has found Drew there. Drew doing well there. He's looking to cross it in. He finds Torre, but the, the ball has been put out. But it is a corner. So such job with the cross now. Crosses it in there, and he finds Charlie Rag, and Rag gets the goal, one nil. So home crowd not real happy with that. 24th minute, one nil down. Great cross from Suck Job there, and there goes the goal. So three shots each. They're beating us on XG, probably because of the actual goal. And there's Suck Job again, holding it up to Drew. Drew crossing it in, but Chumafat is there to defend there. There's Kuck Ingram there, and he is looking to cross it in as well. Oh, he's gone there himself, and there is Torre with the second goal. So 2 0 down in the 31st minute. The boys appear a little bit shell shocked. Haven't really made the most of their opportunities there, so they'll be very disappointed with that. They've still got more shots on goal than, than uh, Bulls Academy, so a bit disappointing there as we're about 10 minutes before half time, eight shots to five. But not a lot of highlights at the moment. Uh, yeah, been a bit disappointing from the team. And we're going to half time, 2 0 down. Looking to make a bit of a change there. We've changed the formation a little bit, Put, push those wingers in, and toss a cock off is, and flea balls are actually on the field now. And Barry from the back pushes it out there. Finds Kuck Ingram again there, and they're pushing it forward. But Tosser Kokop has the ball there, crossing it in to Flea Balls. Flea Balls finding pissed off there, and Wilkins has a shot, but Barry is up for the challenge, doing very well there. He's on a 7.6 at the moment, so really keeping them in the game. There's Katara there, back to McDonald. Yeah, hopefully we don't get a third goal scored against us, because that'll be a long way home. But there's Farts there, intercepted. And holds it up to Wilkins. Wilkins has been intercepted, although Doff has managed to get the ball. But it is Bragg at the back there. Or Rag at the back, sorry, should I say. There's Tossacock off now, running onto the ball. Trying to find his way through to Wilkins, but can't do so. Three balls. Tossacock off. Wilkins, and there's the boy that can't be named. 23rd goal of the season for him. And it's 2-1. So the boys are coming back. Chuma Fat doing very well there. Flea balls with the ball there. Toss a cock off, able to find Wilkins there. And from there, he was just holding the ball up to give Boy the run. And Boy did the job for the team. So, 15 shots to five this half. So, we've really turned the uh, XG around 1.99. So, that, that substitution and the change of formation seems to have been working there. But you can't put the ball in there. That's just gone over the bar as well. So 70 minutes in, so still 2-1, but we are smashing the XG at the moment, but can't put the ball in the net. So, um, Pierstoff has been taken off for his brother Nick. We need to be doing better, boys. We're not scoring the goals. We've got all the opportunities in the world. And then Barry puts it in from the back. There's the boy as well, Goldschmecker, looking forward to Doc there, and Wilkins, oh, he's put it wide. What is going on here, boys? And there's Barry pushing it out from the back. Finds Wilkins again. There's Boy nicked off, running onto the ball. What can he do? Nothing. He's been dispossessed too easily there. Farts with the cross in. Finds Wilkins and it goes over the bar again. And there's Upac there. Back to Chuma Fat there. Dick Meister. Chuma Fat again there. And there's Upac there. Looking for a way forward there. We've got 10 minutes of that uh, normal time. There's Goldschmeckel putting it forward there. Trying to find Boy. He can't. But it's still on a scam against the ball there. But uh, yeah, just the midfield is uh, not quite being able to place their passes. There's Upac again holding it up. Tries to get to Boy. Does so. But the defence is pretty good as holding him out. There's Wilkins. And Upac again. Pushes it forward. Can he find up? Oh, he's hit the woodwork. This is just becoming laughable now. 25 shots to five and we're down 2-1. This is what you call being FMs, guys. 
and we are into injury time and that is the game what a load of shit that was 2-1 xg 3 to 1.16 and we went down so not acceptable at all terrible result unlucky in defeat yeah that says it all pretty well uh what a what a joke that was so we're out of the FFA. Interesting around the grounds, Phil Zars has been named as Player of the Week, so MacArthur have done well with him. Good to see. As we prepare for the Adelaide Galaxy game, after that disappointment, very disappointing there. There's Doff there. Oh, he's been brought down in the box. Sullivan's given away the penalty. And it's Giorgio stepping up to the spot, push the ball away effortlessly. 1-0 in the 13th minute. So Garrick there, crosses it in there, and it is Vanderhoven getting the equaliser in the 38th minute, 1-1. There's Garrick again there, Durrington there, and then cross it in there, and there is Vanderhoven again. So it is 2-1. So that loss in the FFA has really shell-shocked the boys now. It's 76th minute. We're still down 2-1. There he's pissed off with the equaliser. His 30th goal of the season. 2-2. Two -two. So we've got 14 minutes of time plus injuries. Adelaide on the attack again. That's a costly miss for them. And there's Farts there. Crosses it in and then pissed off. 31st goal of the season. He's braced for today. So we've gone ahead 3-2. And that's the way it stayed. 3-2. What an exceptional win for the boys. Especially coming back from 2-1 down. But you look at Adelaide Galaxy, they're only mid-table. So we should be doing a lot better. As we prepare for the Dundee game. And Simon Cutruz is the manager for Dundee. Angus Sweetnuts is a player we need to watch out for. As Giorgio takes the ball there. Shen crossing the ball in there. And Doff gets his eighth goal of the season. So 1-0. Good to see the Doff brothers up front there today. As Dundee push it forward. They found Kurtovic, and Kurtovic is going to put the goal in the equaliser. 1-1, 39th minute. Remember that Dundee are pushing for a top five spot there. There's Doff. Gets his second goal of the game. So, he's ninth of the season. 2-1 up. And there's Eric Shen, standing proud. And crosses it in, and Wilkins gets the goal. He's 13th of the season. 3-1. So, just like that. We've got a two-goal lead. There's Barton now. And he's going down the left-hand side, and there's no one going near him. Okay, he's gone to the keeper, and he's just beaten the keeper effortlessly. Fourth goal of the season for him. A total solo effort, that. And 4-1 was the way that that game stayed. So still an eight-point lead there. In bad news, Gregor Tosakokov is going to be out for five to six weeks with an injury. Um, and that's going to just cost us a little bit as we go to the border town game and it's Sharma the scammer sorry uh, to Giorgio and there's Boy crosses it in there and there's Wilkins with the goal 14th of the season and there's Boy again crossing it in and oh Doff has been pushed off the ball there and Whelan has given away the penalty Boy steps up, makes no mistake, remembering he missed the penalty earlier on in this episode, so great to see him get back on the horse there. There's Scammer again, pushing it forward there to Boy. Boy gets the goal easily, beats the keeper. It is 3-0 in the 21st minute. And there's Scammer with goal number four, and his first of the season. So very pleasing to see him get off the mark. 73rd minute now, there's down the throw to there to Samet. Samet crosses it in there and it's Wang Tao getting the goal for Bordertown. 4-1. And Hill for Bordertown pushing it forward there. And no oh, bad mistake by the defence there. And Wang Tao gets his brace. His eighth goal of the season and it's 4-2. Bit of a disappointing defensive effort towards the end there, but hasn't cost us too much. So 4-2 win there and we still have our eight 
point advantage over FKB Grad. And here it is, one versus two, FKB Grad. And there's love for FKB Grad there, holding it up there. There he is again, crosses it in there, and they're on the board. Joshua Murray gets the goal, one nil in the third minute. And Beagrad on the attack again. His bowler there, and he's running to the defence, and what a great goal. Ben Bowler crosses it easily, 2 0 up. And there's Goldschmeckel. Flea Balls pushing it forward there to Doff, and Doff gets the goal. He's 32nd of the year, and it's 2 1. Lots of action in this first part of the game. There's Giorgio there, and there's Boy. Crossing it in, and it is Wilkins with the equaliser. Great goal. FKB Grad pushing it through. There's Mori there. He's injured, but he still manages to put the goal in the net. There's Doff now. And Wilkins running on. And he gets the equaliser. 3-3. Three three. It's his 16th goal of the season. And that was the way that game stayed. So we are got parity there. So still the eight-point differential between the two teams. Interesting to see that the Gold Coast Knights have interest in the boy that can't be named. And speaking of the boy, he is approaching Dick Splash's record of 69 goals. As we go to the Hellenic Athletic Club game. Playing a home game, Dick Meister in goals again. And there's Shen pushing the ball forward. And yeah, again, and boy, on the end of that 26th goal of the season for him. So he's actually behind Doff on the uh, goal scoring at the moment. There's flea balls to Shen and Shen pushing the ball in. Third goal of the season for him, but very emphatic there. So the 21st minute, it is 2-0. Goldschmeckel pushing it forward there. And there's Bookie crossing it in there. And it is the boy that can't be named. 27th goal of the year for him, 3-0. there. Finds Bookie. Bookie puts it in the net there. That's Boy with his hat-trick for the day. 4-0. And pissed off. Gets the fifth goal of the day. It is 5-0. 30 minutes. And there's Wilkins holding the ball up. Crosses it in there and there is Boy again. I think that's goal number four for today. He's trying to close the gap. There's Dixon there, and he has been fouled. The U-Pack has given away a penalty there at 6 now. Can they make it 6-1? Dick Meister in the goal. He's able to save it. Well done, Danny. That's excellent. There's Giorgio now. And Doff pushing it through. And there's Barton. Oh, chips the keeper beautifully. His fifth goal of the season, 7-0. There's Allen at the back. Oh, that's come off. Whose head is that? Is that Aaron Chen's head? And uh, <laughs> that, that was very funny. Doff with the goal there. 8 0. Giorgio. And there's Bookie putting his second goal of the year away at 9 0. And that's the way it stayed. Poor old Hellenic Athletic. A minus 42 goal differential there at the moment. So they are really struggling. And it's Elizabeth who are struggling to stay in this division. And Fleabos pushes it forward, finds pierced off there. Doff holding the ball up for Sagas. Sagas crossing it in. And the boy that can't be named gets goal number 30 of the season. So he's closing the gap on Doff there. There's Sagas again to Wilkins. Back to Sagas. Crosses it in and pierced off. 35th goal of the season for him. So they are really having a running battle there. And Nelson has a bit of a problem with his own keeper there. Bookie gets the ball though. And oh, that's a bad defensive error there. And Nick Doff gets in the game there. So 10th goal of the year for him. And that is the way the game stayed. A 3-0 win. I guess the boys would be a little bit disappointed they didn't score more goals there. But each of the three strikers were able to get one. And we prepare for the Adelaide River game. This is the next round of the Coca-Cola Cup. So, very, very interesting game. We have a very good ref record over Adelaide River. And I would expect us to win this one quite comfortably. And it's Shen putting the ball forward there. There's Doff trying to get the ball. Gets it easily there. And there's Shen. Crosses it in there. Finding the boy that can't be known there. Putting it forward there. And there is Eric Shen standing proud. And getting his fourth goal of the season. 1-0, seventh minute. Flea Balls crosses it in. 
and pissed off gets above the crowd there 36 goal for him and 2 0 after 8 minutes Norman Banks there but Barton actually gets his 6th goal this season so it's 3 0 24 minutes doing this comfortably there's Shen again finding Boy quite well there but he pushes it back to that bitch and there's Boy and he just beats the keeper senseless there his 31st goal of the season 4 0 it's the second half now. Flea balls to Banks there. And there's Doff finding Barton. Barton crossing it in. And there's Doff with goal number 37 for him. Five now. Yeah. This is another trouncing by the looks. And there's Barton finding Doff again. 38th goal. So he is really thrown down the ball to the boy that can't be named. So 6 0. There's Western Studio now pushing it forward. The Soda there to Babok. Babok finds Santos and Santos gets the goal. 6-1. So they're finally on the board. There's Norris. Holds the ball up. And that bitch has given away a penalty. So it is Matulu. Yep, so Mutlu gets the goal. So 6-2. Pushing forward, finding Babok. Babok gets the goal. 6-3. Poor old Dick Meister really struggling in goals today. There's Norris. And he's cross, cross, crossing it in there. And there's Babok with his second goal. It's 6-4. There's still seven minutes of regular time here. What can they do? There's Shen. Crosses the ball in, but it's been defended well. And then push forward. There's Babok again. Pushes a beautiful ball through. And Paredes gets the goal. In injury time, it's 6-5. And what a great game that was. 6-5 is the final result. And uh, very disappointing for Dick Meister in particular, who basically, his defence really let him down in that second half. He had a clean sheet when it was 6-0 and now 6-5. So what a great 30 minutes by Adelaide River to nearly snatch that game. We have got Florian Athena in the quarterfinal there. And it's an away game as well. And back to Fanny Bay Oval for the Seaford Rangers game. Scam and pushing the ball forward there finds uh, the boy, but he's got a bit of an injury there, and he's actually been found in the box. That was pretty senseless by the defence there. So boy, I think he's coming up to try and get the goal. He's made no mistake there. So one 0 over Seaford. Wondering Seaford are trying to get um, into the fire there, right on the edge there. There's Farts to Goldschmeckel. Scam and pushing the ball forward. Finds Doff, crosses it in there, and there's the boy that can't be known getting his second, and he's third and third of the year. So it's him and Doff really going neck and neck for this uh, goal scoring award. So Wilkins to Boy to Scammer, and there's Bookie there. Farts pushing the ball through, and there's Doff again, and he finds Boy who gets his hat trick for the game. Seaford put the ball in. Jacob Moon gets the goal. 22nd goal for the year for him. That's nothing that he sneezed at. So 3 1 in the 45th minute now. And there's Bookie with the cross. And it is nicked off with the goal. He's 11th for the season. 4 1. He's starting to put the foot down now. The boys. There's Bookie again. Pushing the ball forward. And there's Pierced off. And he's got the goal too. 39th of the year. 5 1. Giorgio now pushing it forward. This has been pretty emphatic here. And there's Doc again getting his 40th goal of the season. A 6 1 result so far. Well, there's still 40 minutes to go. Seaford on the attack. Cross it in there. And there is Moon getting his second goal of the game. 6 2 the score. Plenty of time left. Giorgio with the throw in. Crosses it in the flea balls. And Bookie gets the goal. His third of the year. 7 2. With 13 minutes of change left in the lane. Georgia off the back. Push it forward there. And it's defended quite well there by Seaford. Although Georgia's got the ball again. Pushing it forward there. And there's Doff crossing it into his brother. And Pierce Doff, 44th, 41st goal of the year. And that's 8 2. So a very comfortable 8 2 win over Seaford Rangers. That result's really knocked them around too. Because there's six goals there. So Port Darwin back in the five there. Other results Mars Bar Sugar 2 1 over Modbury Vista. Keeping them six points behind FK Beograd. Who, of course, went on their winning way once more. 
look that we can see that result. So we're going to leave it there today, folks. We are trying to move through this season quite quickly. I would say two more episodes and we're done, and then we can move into FM24. And I would say that the layout of the episodes is going to be a little bit different too. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. See you later.